friends, countrymen, lend me your ears, because today it is time for episode 34 of the Mysterious Trouble House. I am so excited. Welcome back, team. We are here. It's Tuesday, and we are almost at the end of the story. You guys only have to vote a couple more times before they finally make it out of the Mysterious Ripley House. I absolutely cannot wait to share the ending with you and to find out what the heck the ending is gonna be because it's going to be <gasps> up to you. Um, today, I loved you guys' answer. Some of you guessed right, some of you did not. But thankfully, the majority did get the right answer. Otherwise, we kind of would have been in a bad place. But you guys figured it out, so good job. Um, and without further ado, let's dive right in to the Mysterious Ripley House. Episode 34. Things had certainly gotten exciting in the mysterious Ripley house. Jim, Tim, Bianca, Audrey, Raphael, Madame Ripley, and Bubbles all stood in the hallway, across from the man in the top hat. Uh, could you repeat all that? Tim said. Oh, hello, the man in the top hat said. I'm so pleased to make your acquaintance. I regret to inform you that this is a test. You can only go through the yellow door, the red door, or the blue door. The yellow door leads to a room full of noxious fumes, and it will kill you. The red door leads to a room full of starving lions, but don't worry, they're tame. The blue door leads to a room where absolutely nothing bad will happen. The group huddled together. What should we do? Audrey hissed. Madame Ripley, Bianca said, do you know who this fellow is? Madame Ripley's typewriter began to type. No, she said. Sorry. Strange people end up in this house, and they're not always nice. So he's dangerous, then, Tim said. Well, he's trying to lure us into evil doorways, Audrey said. Which door sounds safest, Raphael said. I mean, he said that if we go through the blue door, nothing bad will happen, so maybe we should take that door. I suppose, Audrey said. I just, I can't be feeling like we're forgetting something. Me too, Tim said. You must choose now the gentleman in the top hat said. Pick a door. Once you make your choice, you can't undo it. Are we sure? Tim said. Do, do we want to take the blue door? Suddenly, Raphael yelled. Oh, he's lying! Huh? Audrey said. This is the man in the top hat. The bubble lady warned us about him. Everything he says is a lie. He's the opposite. We should take the yellow door. The yellow door? The group thought about it, and they realized that Raphael was right. If it was all a lie, then the yellow door was the only safe option. Gathering their courage, they announced their decision, hoping that this was, in fact, the man with a top hat, and not just some man in a top hat. We choose the yellow door, Audrey said. The yellow door swung open, and to everyone's relief, it simply led back out into a hallway. The group ran from the man in the top hat as fast as they could, thrilled that the riddle was over. We made it, Raphael cried. And now for the coat closet. They hurried for the coat closet as fast as they could, hoping that the ink would be there and that they would be able to read the letter at last. They found the coat closet on the first floor, right next to the front door. Maybe we can read the letter and then leave immediately, Audrey said. They opened the coat closet and began to search. Soon, they found the jar of blue ink and held it up. It was tremendously exciting. Raphael was about to break the ink over the letter when Tim said, Wait, there isn't enough ink in that bottle to cover the whole letter. We're going to have to apply it carefully, or we won't see the whole message. All right, my friends, how should they apply the ink? You can tell we're getting close to the end of the story because sometimes your votes are not as interesting. But this is this is kind of like a real-life puzzle. What is the... the most scientific way that you can think of that they could cover the whole square surface of uh, the letter and still distribute the ink enough that they can read what's underneath. Um, so I'm intrigued to see your answers. Um, your mission for the day, if you are so inclined, is to create a giant pirate ship in your backyard uh, with either like a, a playset that you have or some chairs and a huge sheet that blows in the wind. Um, and I highly recommend if you have a kiddie pool, um, having certain members of your family uh, very carefully and safely walk the plank into the ocean, uh, which is just a wonderful way to uh, spend a hot summer day. Um, but I hope you guys are doing great. I can't wait to uh, reach the exciting conclusion with you. Um, and without further ado, I guess I will see you guys on Thursday. 